Dave, let's start with the basics. What exactly is a solar eclipse? So a solar eclipse is when the moon gets in the way of the sun and casts a shadow. And there's different types of solar eclipses. The one we're going to experience on April 8th is a total solar eclipse. There's also partial solar eclipses. There's an annual solar eclipse, which occurs uh, somewhere across the planet. But this one is going to occur from roughly Mexico through Texas and then moving northeast through the Ohio Valley and eventually across northern sections of New England. There will be what we call the path of totality. So that's where the moon's shadow will completely cover the sun or the moon will completely cover the sun. And because of that, you'll be able to actually look at the eclipse without any protective eyewear in that very brief two to three and a half minute window or so. And Dave, where are the best spots in New England to view the eclipse? So some of the best spots to view it are, of course, northern New England. Burlington, Vermont comes to mind as one of the great spots. But a lot of places are going to be sold out because this has been on the docket of many eclipse aficionados for a couple of years at this point. But also St. John's Bay in Vermont. Uh, You could head up towards Holton in Maine. That would be another spot to view it. Greenville up in Maine as well. Uh, Also, remember, you don't have to be in a town. You just have to be along the path of totality and, you know, pull off to the side of the road and take a look at at it and it will be fantastic. You don't have to be in a major city or even a minor city. The only uh, advantage is there is that you'll have a place to eat and uh, stay if you want to make a little weekend of it. Asking for regular people and eclipse aficionados, how will weather play into people's experiences of the eclipse? Yeah, obviously, that's the most important thing. So if you're in the path of totality, and let's just say it were completely cloudy, you'd still see it get dark. It's going to become like dusk, but you wouldn't get that spectacular view. So weather is critical. And even if it's a mostly sunny day, if the clouds go over for that three or four minute window, you're going to miss it. So it's one of those things that's super, super important that we have clear skies during totality. The best chances for clear skies are actually Mexico and in Texas, if you want to head down there, uh, it's like an 80% chance that you'll have clear skies. Up here, not so much. Well, one thing's for certain, nobody eclipses Dave Epstein's information. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome.